All righty. We're getting some paint action on the house now. Down low, we have the first coat of paint. Up high is still primer, and we have a scaffolding build up there because uh, we have to build this here hard to get roofing area up under the eaves there. So we have one side finished over here. And so you can see that that's kind of a hard one to get into. We have to lay a ladder over the roofing. We don't want to actually step on the roofing because it's cedar shake roofing. So we have a ladder with stakes in the ground to keep it from sliding out. And then it's got a couple of uh, cargo straps to hold it. Cargo strap here and a cargo strap up there. And then uh, you can climb up on the ladder, lay on the ladder and not on the roofing. And that way you don't damage any roofing. And then the scaffolding up there. Uh, we'll use that when we start painting. We can set a ladder on that. So we have the underside here. You can see we have a one by four uh, or one by six board above all the shingles at the top under the deck ledger. And so that kind of makes a nice clean straight line there. And then we'll uh, caulk that in place and uh, waterproof it. And, uh, so yeah, the uh, siding is looking mighty fine. So we are coming across here and we're going to start finishing up. We have to, uh, put siding up on this side to come around the corner here before we can do the siding over there. Because uh, the uh, courses have to match up. So there's going to be this course here and then two more courses above it before we uh, match the siding together. And then right here over the door is where we have to build a roof. Um, we have to kind of come up with our own solution to that. The uh, architect had a bunch of stuff to mount the ledger board and roof here. But the problem is, if you mount the roof here and it slopes down, well, then the roof is head height. So I think that the architect kind of um, forgot. And I can just kind of show you what the plan the architect had was, is, grab the sheet here, and this takes a second to find the drawing, okay, right here, so this is one revision that they've made on the decking, so this is the connection for the roof, and they didn't account for that this year is eight feet high and then this drops down to six feet out here. So that's not gonna work. We have to make this connection up here higher, which will be close to under the windows up above there. And so that's just why Architectural plans are lovingly referred to as the funny papers. Okay, so that is the uh, quick update for today, Tuesday, October 16th. And uh, happy birthday to the happy birthday people out there. Um, I have a very special one on my list. And, uh, so, yeah, so there's the, uh, chalk line for the next course of shingle. The, uh, underlayment shingle is about a half an inch up from that. And then the finish shingle, the, uh, machined grooved shingle extends about a half an inch lower than those do. So, all right. So that's where we are right now. 
Okay, um, we have to go and rent a scaffolding so that we can get up here more easily and scaffolding will be on wheels, locking wheels, so that we can roll it along and uh, do more shingles and paint on this side because it's just kind of a bugger to keep moving the ladders as you go. So, okay, um, hope you enjoyed the update and uh, we'll have that roof to show you here sometime this week, I believe. So, okay. We'll see you on the next video, and remember, if you would like to keep following this project, you are invited to subscribe. Beautiful fall day. We are looking out on this too, with a few more days of good weather. That's why we're hustling on the paint to get it done. Okay, I'm out of here.